important story uh, behind the book, Our Interrupted Fairy Tale. It is a story by Megan Williams and undoubtedly a personal one with love and loss. Megan, good morning to you. Morning. Uh, let's dive right into this. Chad Warren, tell us about who he is and the relationship you two shared. Um, Chad was my boyfriend and love of my life, and um, we were living a, what I considered to be a pretty normal, happy relationship. We traveled lots, and but uh, what's a bit different about our setup is that there were three people or th three components to our relationship, and that was Chad, myself, and myeloma, which was um, the incurable blood cancer that he had. So. You know, I, I think this book, going through it last night, uh, resonates on many levels. When you talk about the theme of love, people can relate to. And then there's the notion of losing a loved one, which is a powerful sentiment. I think many people have struggled through this. When did you realize, at what point in the relationship, that something was, was terribly wrong here and that you were going to experience a significant loss? Um, well, the, the two different things. I, when I had first met him, I was 16, and a week afterwards, he was diagnosed with this cancer, um, and I had heard it through the grapevine in our tennis community. But and then we started dating several years later. But what's a little bit different is I, I never thought that it was going to be the end of him. And so it wasn't actually until um, three days before he died when I was in the room when his doctor shared that this was all that we could do for him that I not only my heart plummeted to the floor and I we were on the 15th floor but um, that was the first time that I actually didn't think that he was gonna well he wasn't gonna make it so and where do you summon the strength I mean the story of losing somebody I think is so profound what gave you the strength to persevere through a story like this an experience like this and then be able to write um, I don't know. A few people have asked me that about like how do you, I don't know how you would have done it, but I don't think any of us know how we would do it because it's not something you can ever fathom. You never consider the idea that the love of your life is going to be taken from you. But um, as far as writing the story goes, um, Chad had a bunch of diaries that he'd kept when he was first diagnosed. And when after he had died, I was cleaning out a bag of our. Um, garbage and in the bottom of it was one of these diaries that he'd kept and in the back of it he'd left a note that said publish this when the time is right. Wow. So the writing of it became as a little bit more of an instruction <laughs> to, to help help him live on and as a result I think he'll probably end up outliving us all now so you know the unique thing about this story is it's written in a first-person perspective what's going on in Chad's mind what's going on in your mind yeah. as you follow the journey of falling in love and then battling myeloma and here I think it's such an important story to create a legacy for the love of your life the once love of your life and now raising money for a great cause and tell us what you're trying to achieve yeah when um, Chad was alive he and his family set out to raise a goal for one million dollars for other people who have blood cancers and are um, looking to raise money for trial drugs and um, trial procedures and Chad's life and our time together was extended because of a clinical trial that he was on so we continue to we're still striving towards that goal we're well on our way and every year we do a tennis tournament to not only honor Chad but to help raise money for the cause as well so You've got the website for the book as well, our interrupted fairytale.com. There's a book signing happening this Sunday at Park Royal South, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. You can check out Megan. I guess final words, what's the greatest lesson you learned going through something like this? That like, it's best to just dive into uh, to the love of your life because if you live with hesitation, then you won't be able to enjoy it to its fullest, I think. so. Powerful words. You miss out on the feeling if you don't dive in. Megan, thanks for sharing this. Thank you so much. An important story. We'll pop it up on our Facebook page as well. Okay, uh, we're going to check in one last time with Dawn over in the live eye.